Today, we have some awesome news on some crossplay for the MCC custom game browser season 3 and season 4 preview, along with some Halo 3 and Halo 2 anniversary customization additions, along with some Halo 4 flighting news. So, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving our news and informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these news and informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button as it lets me know you want to see some more content like this, helps more people get a chance to see this video and stay in the know with everything going on with Halo. If you want to stay updated with everything going on with the MCC and Halo Infinite, make sure you tap subscribe guys. So let's get right into the content here. So as we do at the end of every month, Postums goes on and gives a big boy dev update about the MCC and everything that they're going to be bringing into the game. So in this video, we're going to break down that dev update. There's a lot of stuff Stuff to cover some stuff that I'm really excited about and you should be as well so let's just jump right into this whole thing okay so the first thing that they mentioned in this dev update is season 3 that is the new season's gonna be coming with the release of ODST on PC guys and also for your Xbox users as well when you get the update firefight coming to the Xbox on top of that season 3 is gonna have 80 items in total which is gonna have a lot of customization for Halo 3 there's gonna be nameplates as well some Halo 3 ODST firefight characters to unlock top tier being Sergeant Johnson I did make a video on this so if you want to check out that video in more detail everything that's gonna be in this season make sure to check out that video guys link in the description down below and I get this question every time to ease off any confusion once season 3 releases season 1 and 2 will remain in the game as well so you guys can unlock your season 1 and season 2 content as well utilizing season points though keep in mind any content that's tied to seasonal challenges like those gold skins in CE will be gone because there'll be a new set of seasonal challenges so you want to make sure you grind out as much of the seasonal content as much as you can before season 3 releases which my guess would be September 15th but we don't know the exact release date yet. So in addition to the new visor skins and weapon skins that we'll be able to have in Halo 3 they're bringing some new customization options to Halo 2 Anniversary. So when Halo 3 ODST releases for Halo 2 Anniversary you'll be able to individually select your armor pieces for your Spartan just like you can in Halo 3 and Halo Reach so that's gonna be a great little addition right there this will be available for the elites as well as the Spartans we also get a sneak preview of season four no visuals but we have some new information guys so they mentioned here that season four will bring more customization items to Halo 3 and Halo Reach as well uh, they mentioned for Halo 3 kind of expect the same kind of stuff that we saw in CE coming over to Halo 3 some probably some more visor skins probably some vehicle skins more weapon skins things like that so definitely excited about that but a really cool thing they mentioned here Halo Reach will feature new ways to mix and match different armor sets as well as those similar features of Sp for Spartans coming to the elites as well so you get to actually choose your elite armor probably piece by piece which is gonna be pretty freaking awesome I'm really excited about that and they do mention in that quote long lost items or two for Halo 3 and Reach this could be GRD helmet for Reach coming in which was cut content for a DLC edition so this is gonna be pretty awesome to see what they're gonna do I will definitely make videos on this as soon as the information is available and we finally have some custom game browser information brought up in here so I know I'm very excited about this as there are plenty of classic custom games in the Halo franchise brought up that could be played in the MCC this is exactly what they say here so it's with the straight from 343 saying design and implementation is underway on the custom game browser our goal is to offer players a way to host and join a larger variety of game types that we are able to support via social and competitive match made games we want to give players control over multiple games CE through Halo 4 game types and maps in custom browser rotation. We want to make it easy to play with friends and to find games you are interested in based on filters you provide. We want to provide a detailed browsing experience. We also need to make some adjustments to the core Halo multiplayer flow for custom game browsers so players spend less time in the UI and more time in maps. Our plan is to get a version of this feature up and running into our flighting rings for feedback. We'll have more details and examples of the UI flow to show in the near future. Custom games were such a massive part of the classic Halo experience and there's so many amazing classic custom games that you just can't do in matchmaking that you can do 
in social games that people just kind of put together. Now, this, the fact that this is in design and implementation means that they're currently working out the blueprints, essentially, of how they want to implement this feature into where it can actually start being coded into the game. So I'm really glad to see this happen. Uh, maybe it'll come along with Halo 4's release. Maybe. We're not sure. They do mention about flighting, so that's great to see. That definitely is a feature that will need to be flighted, as it'll be sounding like they'll be doing some massive UI changes as well to have a much easier process, because I really hope to do a process when it comes to uh, downloading maps and game types as well because that is a pain in the backside for sure. Another great feature that 343 is working on that's not going to be making it into Season 3, but something that you definitely want to check out, guys, is going to be the region server selection, which is going to give you the option to select and deselect servers to connect to in the MCC. And so then you can avoid the little servers that you get thrown into, they either give you a really high ping or you just can't find people to play with. You can switch to different servers and things like that. This will definitely help out a lot of people over like in Australia and the EU where the population is lower. It's great you'll be able to see the name of the server, the amount of population. So it's a medium, low or high population server and also the millisecond delay that you'll be dealing with as well for latencies. They're currently working on it right now and looking to flight this soon. And now the massive game changer for the MCC crossplay and input based matchmaking guys. We have some detailed information on that. So let's dive right into it. They mentioned how they're gonna be implementing this in a more playlist by playlist kind of situation. So they mentioned specifically in this blog update how uh, playlists like Infection, you know, you don't really have to worry about input too much on that one. So it's such a social mode that you'll get the full benefit of crossplay in there as well. Same thing with Firefight, because obviously you're just doing PvE stuff. No need to separate the player base up there. Though they do mention when it comes to more competitive modes that this can be a bit of a detail-oriented stuff behind this. So the quote 343 is saying, as for the more competitive playlists, we will have the capability to limit players by input method. In some cases, that will mean all players have to use the same input. In other cases, that will mean that we will allow squads with some amount of mixed input to play together and balance out those using mouse and keyboard and those playing with controllers. Players will be locked into a single device when they enter matchmaking for those offerings. You'll be able to see which device other players in the lobby are using as well. So to clarify this, there will be no toggle on off option like how people have mentioned, like saying I only want this input. They're gonna be doing a playlist by playlist and kind of determining on play people you're playing with as well. And it sounds like you might not be able to switch between mouse and keyboard and controller on the fly like you've been doing previously, which is actually kind of something I like to do. Uh, though I've been recently been focusing a lot more on playing on mouse and keyboard with shooting, but previously what I was doing is playing controller when it comes to shooting, and then when it comes to playing with vehicles, I hop over playing mouse and keyboard, because when you're playing in Halo Reach with a, with a Banshee on mouse and keyboard, oh my god, it's a, it's a game changer. Same thing with the Wraith. The Wraith goes from the sluggish, kind of terrible tank-like vehicle to an absolute OP lethal machine playing on mouse and keyboard. So I think we we'll have to be stuck with a single input throughout the entire match and not be able to flip-flop like you were previously. And there's still one more game to be released onto the MCC and that is Halo 4. We did get a little bit of information about how that process is going. Uh, at the State 343, they say, we haven't spoken much about Halo 4 yet, but it is also progressing well. We are currently moving towards a beta candidate and and have entered the major bug fixing phase in its development. We are also starting to put together flight plans for Halo 4 and all these potential features coming online during that timeline. I'll be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of Halo 4, but I will give it a solid try when it comes out on PC because uh, it's definitely my least played Halo and maybe the version that's on the uh, MCC will play out a little different. I know a lot of people praised BTB in Halo 4 to be great. I just hope it runs well because I used to play it on the Xbox One default one and my god the frame rates are terrible on that to where it's almost unplayable so hopefully playing it on PC will make it a much better experience. There's a lot more I can go into when it comes to this video but we can talk about the, everything that's happening with Firefight, how they brought in the Automag and Science SMG and the Halo 3, all the new features are in the works and in development at the moment but I don't want this video to run too long so we'll make those into separate videos as well so make sure you subscribe to the channel guys keep yourselves updated. If you enjoyed this one make sure you tap that like button. If you're new to the channel or missing any content from me check out the videos on the screen right now and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.